Hello, you little wanker. Well, that's an interesting start. Um, hello everyone, this is Alt and Munkert Man, and we are playing the low resolution face game. Also you known have as. a very nice face. Thank you. You have a very nice torso. I guess those are supposed to be abs. No. We're, we're, we're playing Star Maid, which is like Minecraft in space with awesome spaceship stuff. And you might accuse me of copying the Yogg's cast, but uh, that hey, does not actually make they sense. They are cool! They so are, you they can are cool. Suck it. But that is not actually true because if you define it that way, then, then really anybody can be copying anybody. And, 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 oh, and that also means that Tribes Ascend is Halo. A, ha a copy of Halo, definitely. But, uh, anyway, we need to start somehow. And I think I need to go shut the door so that my brothers don't make noise. Hang on a second. Hello, an asteroid. Go to the asteroid. It's a very nice asteroid. Hope I don't die. I don't, don't want to get hit by a pirate. Where have you gone? I'm going to an asteroid. What? No, wait, can I, we gotta build spaceships. I got the asteroid. I have no I, idea where you even are. <laughs> I'm going to get some uh, resources for but my. I need to teach. I need to teach. You already have the base resources. I need to teach you. Oh yeah, you also have twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's nice. I'm getting some ores because you know. I now, I now have a lock on your position. It's gonna take you for freaking ever to break that asteroid. Do a barrel roll. Oh yeah. Can't do a barrel. Uh, e makes you go up and Q makes you go down. <laughs> well, that's that's weird. It's useful for landing on planets and and just moving up and down in certain positions. Ah, I need space to be. Fast uh, forward to the asteroid. <laughs> Some lava. I'm gonna get the purples, and and all the rock in the world. I I did find the best way to get rich really fast in this game, and I think they're probably gonna fix it at some point. Like they're gonna fix the fact that you can just stay alive in space forever, which is why you can just click on an asteroid. This is really a dumb way to play the game. <laughs> we need to get spaceships. I've got so many lavas. This is gonna be a series, and this is off to a really, really exciting start. Lava doesn't even injure you, it's just like a... <laughs> I, I take it back. I take it back. It doesn't I injure you, it doesn't injure lava. you much. It doesn't injure you much. I mean, it's space. It's very cold in space. It should be. That burning makes, into rock instantly. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, these ores look like absolute fast crap. Fast forward. What are you doing? I'm calling fast forward to the video. Oh, there you are. I guess yeah, if I can. I've got ores, so yes, we can sell them and get you more parts for spaceships. I want to okay. get some of this red stuff. All right, what red stuff? All the like the red stone crap asteroid stuff. Oh. Very you know, nice. we can actually, to get off to a good start, make like a mining ship, which would be a lot better for taking this thing apart. So you want to go build your first spaceship and, and add attach like mining stuff so we can drill through this thing really fast? Sure. Okay, let's go. Okay, ready? Ready? Warp fast speed! Forward. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Warp speed is very slow. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Warp speed isn't really, you know, it's a very impractical way of uh, travel because you could accidentally run into like a bunch of little tiny particles and like die. Yeah, it will, your ship yeah. will like be obliterated. Well, that's why you can't really like intangible superheroes. I'm like when they become tangible, they can't be inside an object or it will like deny physics. Either that. Superman. Or, yeah, or but something else that something else that goes wrong is the fact that they're always in oct like. The makeup of the atmosphere. That when they materialize, they'll be materializing inside of oxygen. But you know, they're superheroes, where, where, where did so you, you can shut oh. your face, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Okay. So, the first thing you need to do to start your spaceship is be like press X, and then name it. Ooh, ooh. Um. I'm. What am I gonna name mine? Um. Uh, As <laughs> Merotheon, that's not even how you. No, this would be cool. Uh, USS Tallywhacker. I don't even know what that means. Am I sheltered or is that? Is like, this my ship? Yes, it's a ship core. You can get inside of it by pressing R. Okay. By the way, you're probably in build mode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in build why, mode. Why? Why is my? Oh. Why is my steering inverted? 
Why is my steering inverted? Why am I moving? Okay, you don't have an engine. As soon as you attach something, you probably won't be able to move. And you don't have any power, technically, so... Hitting space will take you into build mode, right? And you switch between flight and build mode? Yes. Okay, so... Antimatic and weapons computer... Okay, just go ahead, go ahead and get out. Um... Because I need, I need to change my settings. Ooh, that is loud. Quick. That is loud. I gotta turn the game volume down. Okay, I'm gonna go edit my, uh, inverted mouse thing. I don't like that. I have no idea why my ship mouse was inverted, because, um, it wasn't inverted earlier when I was playing single player. Anyway. Okay. So. The basic controls for a ship. Um, basically, uh, when you're inside of one, shift is brakes, space brakes, which totally makes sense. I don't know how they explain that, but, um, then E and Q also make you go up and down. But now, we just have these ship cores, which is basically like a cockpit, although you can add cockpits later to give you a different, uh... You can thing. add what to them? Cockpits. I said cockpits. Be quiet. <laughs> um, you can add those... Oh, server autosave, blow yourself for a lag spike. I'm scared of that. Uh, you shouldn't be. I should be scared. That's true. I have a, a freaking supercomputer. Kind of. I've got a question. Yes? WHY IS THERE SOUND IN SPACE?! Uh, I think you have like a headset inside your body that lets you communicate with your ship and your ship just goes... <laughs> okay, so, hey, you notice that like the, the stuff that's on in your bar automatically? Weapons computer, antimatter cannon, hyperflux coil thruster, power core thing, and uh, gray hole? I'm I'm guessing the thruster is what I want to put on there. Okay, so the first thing we need to want you're gonna want to put is some power cores. So just press R and go inside and go to build mode, because that's the best way to okay. do it. That you don't have to, and just uh, s add some thrusters or power cores. And the Oxcast said you had to like attach this stuff to your core, but you don't necessarily have to attach the stuff to the core. I found um, that out. I want to put the coil thruster on there. Um. Yes, and you see that arrow is pointing the direction that the front of your spaceship is. Uh -huh. So you want it to be facing that way, like when you add the thrusters and stuff. But you can actually hold down control and rotate blocks for different purposes. Ah! What? What happened? Where's your spaceship? What did I do? Where's your Where's your spaceship? I don't know what I did. Did you delete it? The The mouse buttons are reversed. Press X. Did you delete your ship? Dang it! <laughs> Yay! At least I actually think I've gotten used to it, kind of. So, the way these things in this game work, if you, like, pile them up next to each other, or, I mean, like, make a line of thrusters or a line of guns or something, they kind of act as one and become more powerful. So you can do okay, that. So right-click is place. Uh, left-click is place. Right-click oh, is destroy. It's a rever reverse okay. of Minecraft. And there's a way to change it in the settings, but the settings list is so long and annoying that I could never find it, so... Uh, no. Do My I spaceship kind of kind of looks like a, a a blob of blocks. It's really <laughs> space rocks. The strongest material for yeah. deflecting lasers. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm feeling 22. I'm gonna punch you in mm. the face. I don't even know that song, but I know it's like Taylor Swift or something, so I hate it automatically. T Swizzle. All right. Um, you got thrusters. Did you put a power generator? Um, no. That's the sound of me imaginarily face desking. I just hit my hand on the, the desk because I didn't want to hit my keyboard or hurt my head or anything. Um, add add power cores so you have because you need power for your for your thrusters. Power this thing. Yep. For, um, I think. I'll put I'm, I'm one just watching there. the spaceship right now. There. <gasps> there. Fancy. And there. Yay. How's that? That's like, pretty good. Hey! You practically copied my design. Um. Well, mine's kind of like got the inverted. The inverted version. <laughs> These are just base ships. We can get a lot more creative when we have more stuff, but we do have enough money to buy more stuff. So, you want to add guns, right? <laughs> You know I do. Okay, so make the kind of basic shape of your ship with the hull. That stuff is kind of like the arm ring. You might want to coat your generators in it. Gray hull. Okay. Oh, crap. So just do that. There, there, there. 
This is a this is a terrible ship. This looks terrible. What's that? It's my ship, you dingus. The music? Oh. It's my brother. Oh. Mm. Happy go lucky background music that everyone's gonna hate. Okay, so um, Should I go make him stop? Uh I couldn't really hear it that much. That okay. looks that looks pretty armored. Actually, I think I wanna add more stuff for mine. Because I wanna armor up my uh, weapons computer spot so it's not gonna get destroyed. <laughs> mine looks like a giant throne or actually it looks like a giant Buddha trying to hug you kinda. You, you see what I'm talking about? Like, the head is the power core, and then <laughs> the, the ship core is like a... I have no clue. I have no clue what I'm talking about either. Um, I'm assuming that's what you mean. <laughs> Yours looks like a giant hexagon thing. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so, you need to add a weapons computer. And you kind of want to protect it, because if it gets blown up, you're going to lose control of your guns. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put my weapons computer oh, there. Oh, I know where to put it. I'll move that, and that, put that there, and that there, no, no, and I'm out of blocks, dang it, that there, that there, that there, those are guns, you know, your viewpoint is going to be very inhibited, just go into flight mode and check your check how much you can see. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I gotta want to get rid of that one, and that okay, one. So, uh, assuming that we have one. enough energy cores, we shouldn't have any trouble uh, with running out of energy. But that can happen. <laughs> and I think placing cannons like adjacent to each other, directly like side by side, will cause them to not work as effective. Whoa, are you driving? Um, I think I accidentally started moving. Uh, just... Oh, wow. Mine is fast and it has cannons that can look like they can destroy anything. Holy crap, I need to shoot an asteroid to see how much damage this does. Oh, gosh! <laughs> no! I think I tried to shoot you. You can, act, you can actually blow off my parts, I'm fairly sure. So you, how do I you stop? Shift. Oh, yeah. You can't actually mine resources with that, but... Holding control also allows you to rotate, so you can kind of like fly like a fighter pilot and turn quicker by pulling pulling up. But it also allows you to kind of like rotate your viewpoint if you want to. Do so these lasers are doing a lot of damage, actually. Okay, so oh crap, so we've got our ships equipped with these um with the uh, these things, right? So yeah. This is, these are kind of um, like fighter ships. My ship looks like poo. I need to add more guns.